Oh, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Nice to have you here again. If it's your first time checking out this show, you know what to do. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and leave me a comment with your thoughts, opinions, and suggestions, and I'll make sure to promptly ignore them as quickly as I see them. Ha! Only joke, or do I? Anyway, welcome back. Nice to have you here. Oh my God, would you not guess it? My favorite guy, the man that was the inspiration behind me starting my own podcast, the man that got me into UFC, the man that's making me even contemplate doing something as crazy as stand-up comedy has found the way of going viral again with his unsolicited opinions with COVID and the vaccine. Are you surprised? Now, I've said it many, many times. I'm a big JRE fan. I've been a fanboy from a very, very, very long time. I can't even tell you how long I've been listening to it because it's way too far back for me to even remember. But I've been a fan for a while. But even I have to admit, as a big fan, I've become a little bit disillusioned with the podcast, right? The move over to Spotify was a little bit difficult to kind of get to grips with. I had to kind of teach myself new habits of checking out the Spotify podcast bit and listen to that sort of stuff. I've just made many episodes i've basically missed and not listened to in full with covid it feels as if jre's gone down a complete sinkhole i think joe has been incredibly insufferable during this entire time and i get it i get it he's a stand-up comedian by trade he's had no ability to earn a living in that conventional sense to do what he actually loves day to day and he's been you know at home with his riches wallowing and pontificating about things that he probably shouldn't be pontificating about and i'm sure all the nonsense that's happening in california didn't help as well and he's just at this place now where every single podcast he dedicates at least 20 to 30 to an hour of the podcast time to talk about you know the failed covid protocols and the homelessness situation don't get me wrong it's a great advancement from him telling everybody to start a podcast like myself um to get out of working a, a bullshit job it's a big improvement on that but now every single week it feels as if he's only grabbing on about vitamin d and working out and kettlebells and eating elk to combat against covid and it's getting frustrating and they got to a head now recently because he's gone viral because of a clip recently with him sitting down with dave smith comedian dave smith where he essentially tells 21 year olds people who are young fit and healthy and out there already doing tiktok dances and that they don't need to take the vaccine if they're fit and healthy now is it sound advice to give people during a global pandemic where maybe um cooperation is needed and maybe you know looking at the greater good is a message that should be spread probably not but should he be entitled to his own opinion probably yes now let's play the clip and hear what he has to say and i'll give my opinion on the other side oh and i want to make sure i don't get copyright strike too so please forgive me if i just have a picture of my face on here or a steal from the actual video itself because i don't want to get taken down but let's play the video right now and people say do you think it's safe to get vaccinated i've said yeah i think for the most part it's safe to get vaccinated i do i do but if you're like 21 years old and you say to me should i get vaccinated i, I go no yeah. are you healthy are you a healthy person? Like, look, don't do anything stupid, but you should take care of yourself. You yeah. should, if you're, if you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, and like, I don't think <laughs> you need to worry about this. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. He was with that you. close to talking about carnival diet. That, that will close. tell you you need to have this. Well, that's what's but starting to happen. Now. People are worried about them doing it for their children, and we talked about this earlier. Yeah. There's the, 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 that you might have to have your your children vaccinated, and you know, I can tell you as someone who's both both my children got the va the, the virus, it was nothing. I mean, I hate to say that if someone's children died from this, I'm very sorry that that happened. I'm not, I'm not in any way diminishing that. But I'm saying the personal experience that my children had with COVID was nothing. One of the kids had a headache. The other one didn't feel good for a couple of days. Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, not feel good. Like, mm, like no, no big deal. No coughing. Right. No, no, no achy. No, like in agony. There was none of that. It was very mild. It was, it was akin to them getting a cold. Yeah, and you can have this thing where it's like you were saying this virtue signaling and this kind of like theatrical display of I get the vaccine, what a good person I am, I care about everyone. But you're like, look, I'm, I'm, my daughter's a lot younger than your kids, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not injecting my daughter with something to fucking virtue signal. Right. Like, I'm not doing that. Right. If there's something that she's of no risk, statistically has no risk from, right. I'm sorry, I'm not taking any experiment uh, on her in, in that. And that's, that's my attitude. But it's it. amazing that that's controversial. Yeah. That even saying that, I'm not going to inject my child with the vaccine is controversial. Yeah. It's crazy because again, we are not talking about even the flu that we just found out killed 22,000 people last year. We're not talking about that. Right. We're talking about something that is not statistically dangerous for children. But yeah. yet people still want you to get your child vaccinated, which is crazy to me. 
But you know what's crazy to me? What's crazy to me is people out there really taking medical advice from a stand-up comedian, MMA commentator, and host of a podcast. I know, Joe Rogan's extremely successful. He's turned a, you know, a basic podcast that he used to do in the living room and the spare room of his mansion with his other stand-up comedian friends and turned it into a multi-million, soon-to-be billion-dollar empire. Cool, amazing, great, well done. But just because you're successful doesn't mean you're an authority on things. Do you remember when Kanye West told Lady Gaga just because she makes good songs that she won't be a great creative director for Kodak? He was right. Same goes for Joe Rogan. Just because he can throw a pretty fast kick doesn't necessarily mean he has any idea about viruses, has any idea about vaccines, has any idea about anything that concerns medicine. Please consider the messenger. Come on, I love Joe Rogan, but he's clearly got an issue with fat people. He probably hates fat people more than I hate myself. He's always going on and on about exercise can cure depression. He's advocating for people eating an all meat diet in order to cure all sorts of ailments. He's, you know, juiced up to the gills in his own regard. This is a man that clearly kind of, you know, veers on the unconventional path when it comes to medicine and all these kind of things. Because of course, he has the means and the access to do so. He can be his own kind of human guinea pig. He's sort of like a jacked up version of Tim Ferriss. And it makes complete sense if you would maybe advocate for some caution when it comes to the vaccine but you yourself as a father as a mother as a person living in the world right now with the wall-to-wall 24 coverage there's been with covid if you're seriously sitting there and telling me that joe rogan is somehow making you confused and you don't know what to do then you have issues you really need to give your head a wobble. You might need to actually run into a wall and hope you get knocked out for a prolonged period of time because there's enough information out there for you to make an informed decision as to what best fits you and your family because that's basically what's at stake here at the moment. Other people don't have that luxury. Some people working within the hospitality industry or in within entertainment or within nightlife would probably have to take the vaccine regardless. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure in some uh, places or in some you know record labels they're having this conversation with some of their big ticket acts out there at the moment that unless they get a vaccine they won't be able to tour and some people can't tour flat out because some of the arenas won't even sign off on the insurance have people in close proximity with this virus still going on at the moment so unfortunately regardless of what we all think about it the only way we're going to get to a world resembling what we remember in 2019 is if in some way shape or form the majority of people who are at risk get vaccinated that's the only way life returns back to normal i would love to be skeptical about this stuff because i am don't don't get me wrong but at the moment this whole craziness is happening how we covid with people kind of being active vaccinated and throwing up all these suggestions that maybe it's this maybe it's that we don't have any time for that now we spent more than 14 months under lockdown under some sort of restrictions not being able to see our family pursue our careers chase after our dreams go on holiday hang out with our kids and now now is the moment now you want to throw doubt but also that being said the response from the you know from the mainstream media has been pretty much laughable look at this headline here from the hill the white house did joe rogan become a medical doctor while we weren't looking no he obviously didn't but is bill gates a medical doctor just because it doesn't come from somebody that you like or his politics don't align with you now all of a sudden the the whole um suggestion or input that he's having with, with the covid vaccine and everything else is going to be dismissed no, what we should be doing is dismissing anybody who isn't a doctor or a scientist anyway, in the long run. We shouldn't listen to anybody that's just going to pop up because they're, because they're successful in one field and now suddenly we want to hear their opinions on this. This is akin to that flipping Dave Chappelle skit concerning Ja Rule, right? Where's Ja Rule? We want to hear from Ja Rule regarding the CDC. That's what we want to hear from. Oh, and also talking about the CDC, whose fault is this really? If we get down to the core of it, whose fault is this? Some of it must lie at the feet of the CDC and the WHO. They weren't honest up front. They weren't upfront and honest with the American citizens and letting them know exactly what was at stake here, exactly what the risks were, right? They'd want to ramp it up in some respects because I guess the orange man was in the White House and then they went to dumb it down a little bit when things were going so well. They moved the goalposts consistently throughout the entire process. So of course, people are going to have their suspicions and hesitations they're going to be a bit dubious as to what you're telling them one moment they were telling people not to wear a mask next minute they're telling them to wear a mask next minute is n95 next minute is face coverings what was going on a whole bag of nonsense and talking about nonsense look at this mr nonsense himself dr fauci pops up his head and says joe rogan covid19 comments incorrect incorrect this is the man that's, this is what I'm saying. Look what's going on here, how crazy. Look at the people you have to choose from. You have one guy in one corner 
who advocates for swinging kettlebells in order to cure depression. And on the other corner, you have a guy who's got a vaccine but still maintains wearing double masks wherever he goes in Dr. Fauci. You have really no one to choose from. They're all full of absolute BS and it's annoying. But I definitely implore you, if you're of age, then maybe you should go ahead and take it. Maybe not, but whatever. There's so much information out there. You should analyze it for yourself. You don't need to listen or heed the advice of somebody who has absolutely no credentials in that field. It makes absolutely no sense. And just because that person's successful doesn't mean everything they say is gospel. It just sounds insane. So let's lay off Joe Rogan. Let's lay off everybody and let's all make informed decisions because we're all grown ups and we have access to Google and information on the internet. Let's maybe do that, please. Can we get back to some semblance of normality? Can we try? Thanks so much for tuning in. That's the show. If you liked what you heard, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. Peace.